So as we come out here, we have to not be rebellious as our people are rebellious. We have to show them a different way. Right. Because if they don't see it, they'll never believe it's doable. Right. That's right. just like they say, only God, only Christ can keep the law. No, right. we keep the law too. Right. That's, That's right. right. We're walking around like, like, like not a care in the world. You understand? Right. It's your world for what? You understand? You know, we gave it up. You and me. These brothers out here, we gave up our world to serve them. Then you come into the understanding that this book is talking about you. You're going to be angry. Yeah. Excuse my language. You're going to be angry. You're going to be angry because you've been going to church your whole life. They ain't never told you this. So now they've been lying to you in the most sacred place that they claim. Uh, the job still don't give a, a damn about you. You understand? Your, your, your friends want you to continue down the path that you're on. Because once you stop doing that, you're not going to be fun anymore. You don't benefit them anymore. Let me get that. Be angry. Look at Ephesians. Chapter 4 and verse 26. Bro. Be ye angry and sin not. So, ain't so not, I'm sorry. What read it the, again. Book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26. Bro. Be ye angry and sin not. Be ye angry and sin not. There's nothing right. wrong with being angry. That's right. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. That you end up uh, holding grudges and bearing grudges and stuff, right? If you don't get that stuff off your chest early on. Right. Do you understand? Uh huh. Read it again. It's book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26. Read it out. Be ye angry and sin not. Be ye angry and sin not. Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. This Read is why we're loud. See, we're angry, but we're not in sin. Right. Go ahead. Cry aloud. Spare not. Cry aloud and spare not. All right? So we cry aloud. We're loud. But we spare not. We don't care about anybody's feelings. Right. Like I told the sister, you're not going to come up here and dictate what goes on over here. Right. We've been doing this long before you was even around. Right. You was even thought of. You right. understand? Yeah. You're not, your, your feelings are not going to change how we deal with people. Right. You understand? Yeah. Especially a heathen. I don't care if they bow down and lick everybody damn boo. It don't change who the, who the hell they are, what they've done to our people. Right. What their nature is, right? Thank you. Because the most I ah, their nature. Who can make straight what has already been, what has been made crooked, right? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. See, but they not reading these things. Right. It's about bubble gums and yum yums. Right. You know what I'm saying? Rainbows and lily pads. Yeah, lily pads <laughs> and frogs and toads and... Oh, that BS, you know that? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Go ahead. And show my people their transgressions. So we tell you what you do wrong. We tell our people what they do wrong. Right. Because that's our job. Right. Let me get that. Uh, let me get that. Uh, Ezekiel 2 at the end. Let me get that. Uh, please, yes, he's 7 and 7. I know you're holding it, but... I want no, you no, just no. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. No! Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. You understand? Yeah. You know why they not mad? They ain't wise. They ain't got a problem with this. They ain't got a problem with what's going on. They don't got a problem with when you go inside these convenience stores in the hood and a lot of places, a lot of the products are poor. They don't have a problem with that. But they want you to just, it's not a big deal. Right. You can talk to people nicely. I got on him about knowledge, not about how he deals with somebody. I want him to be better at relaying the message in an, in an intellectual way, right. not in an emotional way. Right. You understand? Yeah. Go ahead. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2 from the top. Bring it out. And he said unto me, son of man. Son of man. Stand upon thy feet. We up on our feet. And I will speak unto thee. Uh huh. And the spirit entered me, entered into me. And the spirit has entered into us. Go ahead. When he spake unto me, 
and set me upon my feet. Uh huh. That I heard him that spake unto me. Every time we go out there, every time we move, man, we that spirit is on us to get out there and go talk to somebody about this truth. Right. All right. Go ahead. What he and, say? And he said unto me, Read. Son of man. I send thee to the children of Israel. He sent us to the children of Israel, which is why our, our newly officer of 10K said, he, uh, I'm here to talk to the people, talk to my people, right? To the children of Israel, read. To a rebellious nation. But our people are rebellious. Well, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, I can't do this, I can't do that. No, right. not, if you, nah, not if you love us. Right. Not if you love the most high, you can't. So I, I'm sorry. If my tone is loud, right, but I don't care. Read right. that have rebelled against me. Go ahead. Uh huh. To who? To we have to go to who? The people that have rebelled against the Most High. And that's not everybody. That's that is everybody. Ain't it? it? No, 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 no. Well, you said that's not everybody. Watch this. See, that's two conversations. One is she's saying that's not talk. That's everybody, as in everybody on the planet has rebelled. Yes. But everybody does not know the Most High, so it doesn't matter what everybody's done. Right. It's about what you do. Right. You're the one that's rebelled. You understand? Yeah. That's why we're here now, because we rebelled. Right. Right. And now the Most High is telling us, we got to come back and do what's right. right. Right? Go ahead. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. Even until this very day. Right. 2024. Even to this day. Our people have still transgressed. That's true. You, you can see, see it. it. Everywhere. You see yeah. it everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if, if you walk past and I was just like, hey, sis, hey, uh, you know, you know, is the Lord God and Savior your Jesus? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? And then you'd be like, yeah. Why you go eat that that spam sandwich? Why you eat that 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 uh that uh, pork bacon from Savory? Unkind to your own people. Listen, man. Go ahead, I. Verse 4, for they are imputed children uh -huh. and stiff-hearted. And stiff-hearted. Go ahead. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord God. Uh -huh. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Whether they will hear it or whether they say forget about it. Go ahead. For they are a rebellious house. Our people are a rebellious house. Right. It don't, it don't matter, man. You Listen, it don't matter. We are a rebellious house. Read. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. But guess what? Although we're a rebellious house, you're going to know that there were prophets among y'all. Right. Right. You understand? You see them out here today. That's what we do. We come out here to prophesy not only the downfall of this kingdom, but also tell our people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American <laughs> man, woman, and child, to wake up. Right. Right? Go ahead. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them. Uh huh. Neither be afraid of their words. Yeah, man. They, they be big and black and stuff like that. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Little hair, big hair, dreads, no hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't really matter. Yeah. But but some of us can look a little off-putting, right? Right. And 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 can look a little dangerous in 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 right. some people's eyes, right? Because right. that's how they feel about us, anyways, right? Right. 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 So there are times where you might come across somebody that might look a little dangerous. But he said, don't worry about that. You understand? It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2 and verse 6. Get up. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Neither, neither be afraid of their words. I'll whoop your ass. I'm going to come back and shoot you. Oh, your mama ugly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't worry about them words. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you know, you know, whatever they say. You know what they say. What they say about you? Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Although dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid. Uh, uh, we dwell among scorpions. And you know scorpions have a, 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 a sting, a bite about them. So that's what it's telling you. We're among scorpions. So people are going to sting back. They're going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's going to hurt a little bit, but don't worry about those things. Go ahead. Be not afraid of their words. Don't be afraid of their words. <laughs> nor be dismayed at their looks. Go ahead. Though they be a rebellious house, uh -huh. and thou shalt speak my words unto them. Go ahead. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Go ahead. For they are most rebellious. They are most rebellious. Go ahead. But thou, son of man, uh -huh. hear what I say unto thee. Go ahead. Be not thou rebellious, 
like that rebellious house. So as we come out here, we have to not be rebellious as our people are rebellious. We have to show them a different way. Right. Because if they don't see it, they'll never believe it's doable. Right. That's right. just like they say, only God, only Christ can keep the law. No, right. we keep the law too. Right. That's, That's right. right. And because they put Christ on this mythical uh, uh, throne of, oh, he's he, he never did nothing wrong. Okay, but does it, let me get that. Matthew 5 and 48. He tells us how to move. Matthew. Go ahead. Chapter 5, verse 48. Bring it out. Be ye therefore perfect even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So there's no excuses. We are told to be perfect. We are commanded to be perfect. That's right. right. We are required to be perfect. Right. That does not mean we will not fall. Right. It just means we get our black asses back up. That's right. right. Amen. You understand? Right. All right. Amen. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Same thing. It means so be it. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that Deuteronomy 27 and, 20 and 26. Okay. And let me get the blue letter for uh, Amman. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 26. Come on. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of his law to do them. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all of the words of this law to do them. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. We are going to be a cursed people if we do not do what it says for us to do. Right. This is Deuteronomy 27 and verse 26. That's right. Oh, I get that one. Read. And all the people shall say. What did the people say? Amen. Amen. It said amen. What does right. amen mean? This is the amen. Strong's H54, 3, 543. It means barely, truly, amen. So be it. So be it. So we said we're going to keep these laws. And if we don't keep these laws, you can put us in captivity. Right. You can have us be slaves to the other nations. Right. We'll, eat, we'll, we'll, we'll die by disease, famine, drugs, addiction, uh, gun violence, gang violence. And we said, so be it. And then, not too long after that, we became niggas once again. Right. That's right. Every time we cry and get out of captivity, we then become niggas once again. Right. Because we're stiff-necked people. Because we are stiff-necked people. But the Most High said, He's going to turn our stony hearts to flesh. Because we're hard-hearted. Your mind is your heart. Your la'ab. We're hard-hearted, hard, -hearted, hard, hard heads, stiff right. neck, hard head. So he needs it to turn to flesh. So we show mercy, love, compassion, meekness. You understand? Forgiveness. Okay, Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. That's why I ain't running from the rain like these days. They wicked. You know? I know that's right. Talk about it. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and you shall be clean from all your filthiness. And you shall be clean from all your filthiness. Read. And from all your idols. And from all your idols. Read. Will I cleanse you? He's going to cleanse us from those things. Read. A new heart also will I give you. A new heart. Because it's these idols. It's these ideologies. It's all these things that have turned our hearts cold and stony. Because we, we're setting our ways. You know what they say about Gamal? You can't treat, teach an old dog new tricks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't even catch that shade. It's like last. <laughs> Sometimes I'd be laughing in the wrong situation. Especially because these are my brothers and I'm so close to them, you know, they know me. So I just talk your stuff. Some people can't stand it, but you know, <laughs> I ain't changing. God didn't change, I ain't changing. <laughs> Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Bring it out. Look at Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. Bring it out. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. A new heart also will he give you, and a new spirit. Go ahead. And I will take away the stony heart uh -huh. out of your flesh. Out of your flesh, read. 
and I will give you a heart of flesh. Uh huh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue. Uh huh. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. Uh huh. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people. And I will be your God. Then he's going to give us the land that he, that he promised to our fathers. And then that day, he will be his people and he will be our power. Right. All right. 